welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda. How are you today? The dog just got a bath and now he's like pouting because he, I'm pretty sure, would rather be left out on the streets than get a bath. It's the worst thing in the world to him. Anyway, so if you're huffing and puffing, he's just grumpy. <laughs> today we're going to be continuing my sort of, I don't know what it is, like a retro, old time rock and roll nail polish series. <laughs> Do, does it have a name? I don't remember if it does. We're going to be talking about glitter toppers now. I feel like glitter and glitter toppers are some of the primary ways that a lot of people got into indie nail polish because I'm not saying that mainstream brands have never done glitters, but indies is kind of where it started. Or they did it the best, I guess. So we are going to talk about some of the like the OG glitter toppers and just take a trip down glitter topper memory lane. Join me, won't you? I don't know if most of these are available. I'm sure some of them maybe are somewhere, but a lot of them are quite old. Sorry. This one is from Cirque Colors and it's called XX. You guys remember XX, right? This was the like this was the glitter topper. Um, it's in a clear base. Mine's a little milky because because it is quite an old polish. But there are pastel glitters, pink, green, purple, blue, silver, there's some gold, there's square glitters, hex glitters, large glitters, small glitters. It's it's just a mishmash of beautiful glitter. And this was just it. This was like the glitter polish that everyone wanted. Oh, okay, so they do still make XX. And it's just it looks great. It, you can obviously layer this over anything. I think a, a lot of these look the best over black, especially when they're sort of a pastel or iridescent color story. It just pops over black and then you put a thick, shiny top coat over it. Ugh, it's so pretty. So the first one is Cirque XX. The next one is one of my very first indie polishes, and this is from Dollish Polish, it's called Putting on the Ritz, with like three Z's. And this is in a clear base, it's a black micro matte glitter with white matte hexes. Look at this bottle, this is an old Dollish Polish bottle, look at the old label, this is an old polish. This is before anyone put any information on the labels, it just says Dollish Polish, Custom Polish, Putting on the Ritz, <laughs> that's all it says. It is old. Um, this was such a cool concept to me because you have the micro matte black glitters and then the matte white glitters. And I just think it looks really cool. I don't wear this one that often. I kind of forget about it. I don't own a lot of Dollish Polish for some reason. And um, I kind of forget about the Dollish Polish that I do own. next one is also from Dollish Polish and that's called Random Dancing 2.0. I actually had a mini of this and it was the Random Dancing one and then it, I'm not sure exactly what changed about the, the formulation or maybe the components that were in the polish. I'm not sure exactly what changed but this is called Random Dancing 2.0. And uh, we have a new, a newer Dollish Polish bottle. These still are bottles? I don't know. But again it just says Random Dancing 2.0. There's red, purple, pink, orange, and silver glitters, primarily all square glitters. I can't actually see if the small, I think I said gold, it's actually like a greenish gold. It's very tiny. I actually can't tell if it's a hex or a circle glitter because it's so small. <laughs> but it's primarily square glitters. I don't have a ton of square glitter polishes, so this is really fun. And then, I mean, who doesn't love a red, orange, purple, pink? glitter bomb. The next one is from a mainstream brand. This is from Finger Paints and I cannot tell you the last time I was in a Sally Beauty Supply so I don't know what Finger Paints is doing now, what they're up to, what new releases they have. I have no idea. It came out in a Christmassy holiday collection years ago and it's a silver holographic glitter topper. These are so sparkly. This 
I was thinking of my friend Maria. She used to be Nails Made Simple. She's, she doesn't do her vlog anymore, but I always think of her when I think of this polish. I don't remember the exact memory, but something about her and this polish are like stuck in my head together. Um, I know she loves a silver polish. I also think of her when I think of OPI's um, Crown Me Already. I just, I think of her. <laughs> These are like the two silver polishes that she loved so much. Anyway, I think most glitters look best over black or a solid color base. And depending on the color, it's usually a darker base and that's usually black. I think that this is so festive. And of course you can wear silver any other time. You don't have to just wear it in the winter or holiday, New Year's season. But it's just so like icy and sparkly. The good ones. That's finger paints. I didn't even say the name of it, did I? It's called Santa's Magic. Oh boy. The next one is from KB Shimmer and this is called Get Clover It. And this is a green jelly with green and gold circle glitters. I love circle glitters. They always have been and always will be my favorite glitter shape. I just like how concentric they are and even and just they look tidy. I like the circle glitters. <laughs> and this is like a greenish gold and it's almost like a tealish green in this green jelly base and i just love this polish i don't have another polish like this if you want to use any of these for seasonal polishes there are certain seasons that any of these would fall into i think but even if you just want to wear a green jelly circle glitter polish any time of the year that's get clover it from kiwi shimmer Um, I have another KB Shimmer, and I don't remember what year this was, but this is their, and I can't remember exactly what they call it, they do a charity polish for Toys for Tots. I think it's always Toys for Tots. I know this was a Toys for Tots polish, and it's called Kringle All the Way. This is definitely the most that looks like, oh yeah, that's a Christmassy holiday polish. There's large green circle glitters, red circle glitters, silver circle glitters, and then smaller red and green circle glitters. Come on, I love circle glitters. And uh, this was a charity polish. It was a twofer. You got a beautiful polish and then you felt good contributing to a charitable organization. Oh, this is just so fun. If you did some really cool um, like Christmas tree nail art, you could glitter place these circles on here so they look like lights. I don't have the patience for that, but if someone does, oh my gosh, it would look so cool. I'm sure someone's done it. But this is a good, this is one of my favorite toppers that I always think of when I think of glitter toppers, and it's a Christmas topper. Kringle, all the way. Alright, the last one from KB Shimmer is called Rush Flower Traffic. And shockingly, there are more circle glitters in here. <laughs> there, it's not all circle glitters, but there are a lot of circle glitters in here. So we have some. Uh, bright pink circle glitters. We have blue hexes, gold hexes, teal, like a light teal square. There's a smaller light green circle glitter. Guys, I love a circle glitter. I love a circle glitter and I love a flaky. Why? This is what I like, okay? I'm not even sorry. Again, I don't know when this was released. It's probably not still available. KB Shimmer is one of those brands, and I've said this before, that I kind of just avoid them entirely because all of their polishes are so beautiful. That's probably a whole video that I should do. It's like brands that I think are completely gorgeous but I don't ever buy because I want everything. That could be an entire video. <laughs> and KB Shimmer is one of those brands. I think that their formula is so nice. Christy has been doing this for over 10 years at this point. She's got a whole, I don't even know if KB Shimmer can be considered an indie brand at this point because they have such a large scale production for their polishes. I mean, I'm still going to call them an indie brand. But it's just a really fun color combination. It looks like a party in a bottle and I'm old and I don't really party except for the polishes that I wear on my nails. Uh, next one is from Lush Lacquer now called Polish Me Silly, but it's called Salt and Peppa and this is a black and white smorgasbord of shapes uh, with a scattered holographic circle in a clear 
base. So these are the things that I love. A circle glitter and a black and white glitter. I think those are really cool. This is a very old polish. Um, I don't even know how, how long has Lush Lacquer been Polish Me Silly. A long time. This was very close to like the early the early season of my indie nail polish buying as well. There are bar glitters in here, there are squares, hexes, little baby squares, black and white bar glitters. I know some people don't like bar glitter. I don't love bar glitter. It's not, you know, my most favorite thing in the world. But I think it has its place. And this just looks like an explosion of shapes. And I think it works. I think it works. So that is Lush Lacquer Salt and Pepper. And then the last one is from Polish Me Silly, and this is called Flirty, and it's a little mini, and I could not tell you where I got this. I haven't purchased from Polish Me Silly in forever. There's too many brands to keep up with, guys. They're not straight up matte, but they're not metallic, so they're they're sort of in between, but there are um, um, circle glitters in here, and also hexes. So there are purple circle glitters, green, blue circle glitters, pink and orange and light blue matte hex glitters and it's in a clear base and it looks like balloons. That's what it reminds me of. Even though they're not all circle glitters, this color combination reminds me of a bunch like a bunch of balloons. And it's just a fun glitter topper. This is by no means all of my glitter toppers but these are some that stand out as being sort of nostalgic or wow this is just kind of unique and I don't have a ton of things like this you know those types of things so I would love to know your favorite glitter toppers what brand do you think of when you think of glitter toppers let me know what your favorite glitter toppers are thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video